Well, this is how I'm mounting the engines to the hull. There is a piece that, um, if you if you take the kit hull and there's a extension that comes out and it fits in here. I wasn't trusting that. It was about uh, half an inch by I don't know, maybe like wasn't even one eighth of an inch thick, holding the entire engine section if you fit the hull on. So, um, I wasn't trusting that. This this whole section is probably like 11 pounds. So, I built this solid mount system, which I'm going to epoxy in here, and then drive four screws into the resin here. Um, and then, when I join the hole, I'm going to put this inside, and then it will cap... Um, it will go in there. This is going to go inside the hole piece and then kind of seal on here like this. So it's much more secure. So I've got my piece installed. It's epoxied and I had driven screws in there each of these four holes the screws went into the resin so um, that's everything's level I checked uh, looks pretty good so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill these holes with uh, epoxy just to make sure everything sets and then I'll fit on the hole section and see everything lines up alright so I have the hole mounted to the engine section it was kind of nerve-wracking to mount that and make sure it was straight because it's so heavy I'm kind of moving it around while I had my epoxy drying so looks like it's uh, <laughs> it looks like it's mounted it looks like it's straight so everything's cool I actually put after it was cured after about two days I put screws in here all four sections of the hull to secure it just to make sure and then I filled the screw holes with um, some putty so I have to sand that off and make sure all that stuff is flush everything's looking pretty good with the hole mounted everything looks straight so I'm gonna let it sit for another day or two and then I'll put it on the base so here is the cockpit entire cockpit section as you can see I did some weathering to it but I'm not done yet plus this seam was rough to get all evened out because there's a lot of parts in here there's like a lot of raised areas so I'm on my like third pass to get this all straightened out and cleaned up and then I'll, I'll paint it again um, I have the bridge in there and I'll light that up and show you what it looks like I have to fix the uh, windshield rim around there got the side parts mounted and there's a lot of touch-up work I have to do on this, but it's it's almost done. I just have to to put some paint some additional panels on it and weather it more, and then I can attach it to the uh, to the hole. So I lowered the exposure. There's the inside of the cockpit with some blinking lights in there and some uh, posters that were in the original. So what I'm doing here, the red that's around the cockpit, there's some uh, panel lines that are they're not very pronounced, but I'm, I'm actually going to uh, use a winter stain, which is a uh, tester's enamel. And I use that at the top, and I kind of just put it in there so you'll see the uh, white 
uh, you know, um, you'll see the white lines, the panel lines that hopefully you can see there. So I'm going to actually put more of this stuff in here and we'll let it travel. So I'm kind of just going to brush it over and let it sit. I'm taking some mineral spirits on a toothpick and I'm kind of just no toothpick actually it's a It looks kind of beat up, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing here. I forgot to mention, I did add some pieces here, which hide the seam. There's a, uh, a little, like, gribbly detail on there. That's only on the um, starboard side. And then the port side is like a blank panel that hides the seam. Um, which make, cleans it all up and makes it look a little better. For okay, so here's the practically completed model. It's, uh, I still have to do some touch of work. Uh, but it is. It's a really, really nice model. Very impressive. Huge. I didn't end up doing the lighting on the guns. I um, wanted the ability to turn these around with the magnet. So if you want to face them, uh, you know, towards the back, you can. I didn't want to uh, restrict that because if I put an LED or a fiber in there, it would have would have been. Uh, you know, they, they would have had a face front, but man, I mean, this thing is just so nice. I have, uh, some touch-up work to do on the, uh, some parts I had to add here. I have to fix all that. And, otherwise... Everything else is looking pretty good. I don't have too much to do. This piece here was uh, a three-part section that you had to fit on. So there was a top piece, a side, two side pieces, and you had to kind of um, sand them down and, and get them to fit in that section there. And then fill in any kind of gap that you have here. So I have some touch-up work to do, but it's, it's, uh, it's practically done. So what I'm going to do is I will um, finish my touch-up work and post some pictures of the... I have to also... Um, back here there's some spots that need to be hit with some dark gray and some white to kind of blend in the weathering of the engines, I haven't done that yet. 